Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank, and today I'm going to start looking at uh, wireless accessories with the Airy camera. In particular, we're going to start looking at wireless focus systems, and the heart of that system is the handset, the WCU4. So we're going to look at how this handset interacts with different Airy models and different types of motors and related accessories. So we're going to start off really simple. We're going to start off with an Alexa Classic. The Alexa Classic does not have any of the electronics built into it for motors so in this instant we're going to have to add this box here called a UMC4 universal motor control and I've made a real simple uh, setup just to get us started I have one CLM4 motor hooked up to a master prime and I'm going to show you how to route the signal set up uh, your focus marks and get underway to start pulling focus before we get started, I wanted to show you how this is powered up. It uses a Sony M battery. Uh, looks like a DSLR battery. Goes into the compartment here. It's got a little lock to hold it safe. And you've got a little flap right here. Underneath of here is an SD card. The SD card is how we save and communicate information about uh, lens files to different parts of the system. Okay, now I got the SD card in the unit. Now I'm going to go into the menu and I'm gonna go in and go down. Notice I have a pre-marked scale in here first. Now I'm gonna roll down, you see where it says 14 inch. So what I'm gonna do is select that scale. I'm gonna go down, 14 inch, got it. Next, go into the menu and I'm going to start setting up a file for the lens that I have on my camera. So I go down to lens data, lens programming, and I want to create a lens file. So first thing that it needs to do is it needs to calibrate the motor on the camera so uh, it knows uh, what the rotation amounts are. And we're gonna do a little rack focus here so you can see the uh, lens getting calibrated. Just so you know, if you try to do this too close to the camera with the UMC4, uh, there sometimes is a little uh, talk issue. So, okay, now that that's done, now the next thing it's going to do is it's going to ask me what type of lens it is. I'm gonna scroll down, we're using a Zeiss Master Prime. As you can see, you've got a pretty good range of lenses to choose from. And now it says enter type. Uh, what they mean by this is which model of Zeiss lens are we using? Because it can't differentiate yet between say a Master Prime, or Ultra Prime, or a Super Speed. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna put Master. So I scroll down with the zoom lever here and on the bottom, I'll show you a close up of this. There's a little zap button for the zoom and I'm gonna use that to choose the letter to be saved. Okay, as you can see, I've got master written. I have four characters left, but we're all set with this description. So now I'm going to press the OK button. And now it's gonna ask me to select a focal length. I could put custom as it says here. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna choose the focal length. Now this is following the focal lengths of uh, different primes that Zeiss manufacturers, and you can see that 27 is one of them. This is a master prime. And now it's gonna ask me for the serial number of that lens. Now, I'm um, just for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm not gonna put the actual serial number of the lens in. I'm just gonna put a placeholder. Three. Okay, so obviously for a real setup, we'd put the actual serial number in there. Click okay. And now it's going to ask me uh, if it wants to be measuring in imperial or metric. I'm working in imperial. And now it asks me uh, what axis I want to uh, select and to set. So I only have one motor hooked up, so I'm going to select the focus axis. And now uh, it's gonna ask me to 
uh, turn the focus knob so that the lens goes to infinity. So I'm going to turn my knob here and if we rack focus over to the camera I'm now going to line it up on infinity. You can see it lined up on the lens. Now it's racked back to the handset and on the screen here you can see I have set infinity. Infinity lines up with my marking scale and I'm going to just click OK. Now what it's done, it has remembered where that is in the rotation. The next thing it's going to ask me is uh, the closest focus. As a default, you can see that it's set to two feet, right? But I'm going to roll back on my marking scale here and you can see that the closest focus on this lens is not two feet, but it's 14 inches. So I'm going to roll down on the scale of the lens there and I'm going to line that up and I'm going to make this using the zoom control again I'm going to make this 14 inches and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to go to the next and if we look at the lens you'll see that the next one is 15 inches and if we go back to the uh, LCD on the screen you're going to see that it says 15 inches as well. I'm going to disregard the marking scale for just a moment and now you can see what I'm going to do over time is I'm going to go through every focus mark on this lens and I'm going to establish a correlation between the setting on here and the physical setting on the prime. So I've gone ahead and I have uh, put in most of the footage marks on this scale. You know, Master Primes, one of the great things about them is they have so many uh, scales because they have or so many focus points because they have such a large rotation on them. So I inadvertently left uh, 30 feet out and I'm going to click OK. Or actually I'm going to go and finish and ask me if I am uh, all set. If I've completed, I have. And now I can save this to the SD card. Notice a little icon up here. It says Zeiss Master 27. I'm going to press the save button. And at this point, it allows me to go in and make any editorial changes that I want to the description. I'm happy with this. I'm going to press save again. I don't want to map another lens. And now at this point, it looks like the unit uh, is kind of sitting idle, right? There's no data here whatsoever. Well, what's happened is the information that we have uh, done on this uh, handset has now been saved to the SD card. In this particular situation, what I have to do is I have to physically take the SD card and load it into the UMC4. When we look at other camera builds, uh, I will be able to send this wirelessly. But for now, I'm going to go over and load this into the UMC4. Now that I have written all the information on the WC4 to the SD card, I have installed it into the UMC4. Now I'm going to load it in. You go to the lens menu and I'm going to copy from SD card. So toggle down, select, here's the path, the LDA. Okay, so here are the lenses that I have uh, written information on. I'm just going to select all. And it says add to favorites too. This is a great little feature because uh, it allows you to find lenses quickly and easily without having to go through menu trees. So I'm going to say yes. And there it goes. They've all copied through. Let's go home and let's see if I can find my 27 millimeter Master Prime. So select lens, select favorites. And hey, sure enough, there's a 27 millimeter Master Prime. So I'm going to use that. Lens is now in use. Go home. And as soon as I do that, and I go home on my uh, on my WCU4, I'll give you a wide shot here. But now, when I uh, check my markings, everything lines up perfectly. 
Okay, so we have loaded our file that we saved in a WCU4, put it into the UMC4, and now that that file has been loaded into the UMC4, it's now sending this data back to my handset. I'm gonna roll to five feet, and I want you to notice that there's a little discrepancy going on here. So I have five feet lined up here. I have five feet on the scaling. And I have, uh, looks like five feet on my lens here. Get it just exactly right. Might have done that a little too quickly in setup. Okay, but notice here on the marking scale, my preset scale, that it looks around four feet, nine inch. It's definitely five feet on the lens. It says five feet here and here. So where's the discrepancy? I'm going to go into menu, go to my pre-marked scale, and notice that it jumped over to blank. So I'm gonna reset that. So it's the 14 inch scale. And now let's go back to five feet and see what happens here. Okay, I now I'd say we have five feet on my readout, on my scale, on my mark, and I have five feet on lens. So if you see a discrepancy where the data lines up here, but it's not lining up on the scale, just go in and make sure which scale you have selected. So now that I have uh, gone to the UMC4, I loaded in the file for the SD card, and then I loaded the 27 millimeter Master Prime into the UMC4. It's out transmitting that lens data back to my handset here. So as you can see, when I roll, and I roll to, let's roll three feet. All right, I get three feet here, I get three feet here, and I get it on my pre-marked scale. And we're all ready to start pulling focus. That wraps up my look at how to use the uh, WCU4 with a UMC4 on the Alexa Classic. Stay tuned, we're gonna show you a bunch of different builds using different ARRI cameras and related accessories. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.